if you're friends with them, you can't bite them. No biting. I know you like bacon, but no biting. I also own a farm. Here we go. You're now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. We're eating peaches this morning. Landlord brought me a whole bag, bag of them. I might have had 10 so far. Um, Clearly, gooseneck's hooked up. So it's been a couple days not filming anything. We went to Oneida County Farm Bureau dinner in Rodeo in Utica the other night. And I figured I would bring Colburn's chisel plows back to him. So we dropped those off. I forgot the pins. They're in the truck. They never gave them to him. But this morning, we got back. So today's Monday. Give you guys a time frame. And we got the 7520 out and the 4640 out. And went over and dissed multiple times a little spot that we plowed this spring. That he was going to have rewired from his internet. He doesn't use his internet, he told me and we plowed it up two, did two passes and then he caught us and said oh i don't want that that area done his leach field's in the middle of it which i did not know so went out this morning and dissed a few times rolling basket it rolling basket it and then laid down some seed hit it again with the rolling baskets and called it good didn't film anything just wanted to get it done but he hooked us up with peaches so this morning the calves are out of feed on this back pasture. I guess we'll walk down there. I'll show you. So, the manure trailer needs some love so that it can go back to work as far as the airlines on the back. So, we got to do that. Otherwise, this thing should be good for the fall. Um, we got to work on the truck. Truck is, uh, we got to swap stuff around. People keep asking about the belts. There is somebody in here that says theirs did it all at the same time. Somebody told me the harmonic balancer is probably messed up. The green belts last like five months if you run all three green belts. I'm fine with that. Um, the black belts do not last that long, especially if there's only two. So it seems like we've had more belt issues, but it's usually I only had two, two, so we threw two on and they did not last. So down here, we got a weed whack around that is on my list. But as you see, the pasture is mowed down very nicely. The calves have done a great job. We have thistle at places. Um, yes, we gotta work on the combine and stuff like that. They should get kicked the next one, which nothing else is 100% ready, but around the pond we can do. So we're gonna lay out temporary fence around the pond, let them into there, and they can do their thing there, and then keep moving forward, so. All right, that's where we're at. It's a box trailer. I'm not expecting nothing. Yeah, box trailer. It's a big box trailer. That's kind of weird to be over here. Huh. Like this is back road. So, alrighty, appreciate you guys. Let's go temporary fence. We'll rotary mow around it again, get that down. Throw temporary fence up, kick them over to the other side, and let them have a good day. He's going, he's going right. Yeah. I do not know where he's going then. That's kind of weird. Oh, he's turning himself around. Huh. Well, it hit a huge piece of concrete and snapped the bolt right off. Huh. I moved the rolling baskets and I thought we were good. That there was no concrete there when I walked, but no, we just snapped it. Hopefully that's all we snapped. Definitely a Monday. That snapped right off. That's all good. We just gotta punch that out. I got a little dozer on today. Neighbor up the road. Uh, do we have to grind it or can we just punch it out and put a new one in? Well, hopefully this is the worst of our problems today. The help of a 
was hitting off the right end. Well, it did its thing. Broke right off when it hit that concrete. That was pretty aggressive, that concrete, I will admit. But, uh, yeah, we'll grab another one. Okay. I'll just slide that back together. Ain't nothing to it. Okay. Well, it broke. It did what it was supposed to. So that that's good. We didn't blow up a gearbox or anything. Otherwise, we would have probably not had a good day. Alrighty, let's give that a try again. Since I hooked the rolling baskets up. I moved them out of this area, and there's a piece of concrete right there. We'll get it after and push it up out of the way. I walked around. I didn't see any, so hopefully that's the only one right down in there. Back to doing its thing. So we'll have to wander around some of the corn, show you guys that at some point. The stuff that I was just over with, um, working around that field, looked very, very good. I was absolutely amazed, actually. This stuff that we planted real late, we no-tilled in here. Um, I'll show you in a second here. Yeah, that stuff's not doing so hot. I have no idea why there's two pieces of corn there. So, planter never came over here, so birds must have moved seeds somehow. Alrighty. Making it happen. So being a one-man show, Cleaning the laneway up that we're gonna fence down with. Um, that way it's nice and clean to walk through. Bucket has stakes in it, it has a reel in it. So go a little bit of distance, dump some out, go a little more distance, and we'll walk up. Um, I was hoping the reel would fall out, but it didn't. Okay, it didn't go according to plan. I dumped some of these too heavy in spots, but we're gonna run the stakes. The reel is over there. So I'm going up and around. Um, maybe by next spring, we'll have. Uh, I got a buddy who does fencing locally, and he's he's always said he'll. He goes, let me know when you want to fence someone. I'd love to go up, go to that corner, and come across here, and then probably put a big gate here so that we can get in and out. For the future, bigger gates are always better, and then we won't have to temporary fence anything. But that's what we got right now, and it it's what we're working with. So like I said, I went and rotary mode down and around and up and around here. And we sprayed the fence line. We just got to run through it with um, the weed whacker. So the boys are in the barn. It's warm. I heard a dog barking, but Yank was in the garage. Yeah, my placement wasn't very good. It's way too many here and not enough over there. I'll come back, grab some in a minute. So, we still got our corner post, which uh, last year we had Jono with us, Australian. And uh, I talked to him, I talked to him most, pretty much every day, a couple times a week, if that. And so he watches the video every morning when he gets done with chores, it will, it will be out. I think that's the timing, I forget. We were 16 hours difference in New Zealand, so you gotta be like 19, I would think, right, Jono? I don't know, send me, send me a message. So, um, last year he helped us quite a bit with fencing and we went and got the corn head and we, we went all over the place. We saw things and stuff. And one of his big, he was out here making it happen. And uh, so over here, we gotta stomp it down a little bit. We still got his temporary fix. Which is, uh, yeah, some Melcos and then some fencing staples. And you run the line around it so that it pulls good. At some point, they had a plan to go up to here and go across or do something. That's why this post was put here, but never, never happened. So we do have the fence off right now. This one's got to be string trimmed pretty good. I'm hoping that they'll clean up right along to it. That's usually what 
cows do if you see they well somewhat they're up in the back here and there's a little bit of stuff in between but pretty much all the good stuff they've ate so we're fenced is it perfect no are we good at this no but we're making it happen feeding the boys and somebody said why don't you have more animals i love more animals so remember somebody was supposed to we had a deal worked out where i was going to feed animals till the beginning of the winter for him and then he dragged his feet for five weeks and then he said ah oh, no i think i'm good now and right now animals are stupid money like ridiculous so and i've heard that's going to keep going for two more years <sighs> are they going to make me any money well the one is yeah are, are, they're not at the end of the day they're not actually going to make a very good return because we're doing a lot of work for minimal animals we're using them to clean up stuff keep things good and they make some content for you guys so that's kind of part of some of this you know but uh keeping pasture clean and yeah we could we could rip all the fence out just stuff eventually we need more animals because yeah we wasted quite a bit of time hey there's robert right there um saw him this morning too people have asked where robert is he's doing robert things I, he, yeah so he's he's right there i don't know if he sees me no um yeah, it is supposed to rain later, but we've spent, we've spent three or four days throughout the year cleaning things up, mowing stuff, and imagine if, like, that hillside, that should all be pastured so animals can go in and out of there and graze it down and keep it maintained. So, they're just big lawn mowers. That's what they are. Which, we gotta mow the lawn, too. If it's gonna rain later, we definitely gotta mow the lawn. Well, it's fenced. So we start over there, go all the way up to the tree. I'd like to keep it more maintained, and I'd like to actually play in the pond. Well, put the kayak in the pond and let the anchor go swimming. Somebody said, do not disturb the ecosystem in there. Um, that's understandable. It is man-made, though, the pond, and the fish were stocked at some point. So there is a lot of fish in it, but uh, it's spring-fed. They used it. John told me that that culvert piece right here, that used to be the on-off to feed it into the barn. Because the, there's a pipe that goes in. We're probably never going to use it because we're not milking cows. Milking cows, you need a lot of water because cows drink a lot of water. Um, milk cows. So, bathtub a day per cow. So, they use that pond as a water source. That's why that was built. And then we got a well in the barn and we got the well out back. But, uh, yeah, so there's a big giant pipe. Isaiah hit it last year with the mower. And uh, that used to have the on-off for the water and john said oh that doesn't do anything now so i don't know where that other culvert piece that drainage tile goes i don't think they ever ran, ran it across here maybe they did i'm not really sure but oh phone's going off okay so we got our pile that's decomposing um the main reason it's sitting here is because we don't have any we don't have hay ground to spread on we don't have corn ground to spread on but their bedding worked out mint. Two bales was a little excessive, but as we see, this is, what are we, week and a half later, and they still have a pile in the corner and clean and dry. Hey, Norman, I opened up over here. I kind of want to kick them in, then I can reel up that one. Hey! <laughs> and then I want to pick up these piles. We can move some stuff around. He's not listening. Yanko is 100% still obsessed with pigs. What's up, boys? <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're going to have to make their pen here a little bit bigger. But they've been hanging out, eating good, growing like anything. You're looking really fine. Yanko, if you're friends with them, you can't bite them. No biting. I know you like bacon, but no biting. You've never been this friendly with pigs. You never had this obsession. I was hoping they'd come in, but they're content out there right now. And I was going to show them that that's open. They'll come get it later. So I was going to keep rotary mowing, get this. So there's a pile here from something. Somebody dug something, left a pile. It's got rocks and stuff. I want to start removing those piles so it's just cleaner, easier to be around. And we can use that as fill and uh, finish up some jobs. Just like there's one on the other side of the fence there. There's one there. There's a few out back from us digging ditches. Those are the projects I want to wrap up. 
before the fall gets here. Combine, before the end of the week, we'll, we'll get it moved out to the shop. Gotta move those tires and stuff like that, put them in the barn. And uh, yeah, so the thing that I do not like, I'd love to make dry hay out of the rest of the stuff, but this stuff is so much further behind same with the stuff on the other side it's all spread out by like three weeks so i'd rather do it all in one shot so we're gonna let this stuff go past which isn't the end of the world so that everything else can catch up and uh then around corn time or late in the season we'll chop everything off and fill the silos somebody's still upset about the silos and i don't really get it they're full of feed well not full full but pretty full and they can sit there and store and get better and better. Um, as long as it's fermented and it's in good storage, feed gets better with time. And there's one person that always writes, no, that's not true. Um, on dairies, if you could have two years supply of feed on hand at any time, that would be ideal because your feed is fully fermented. Feeding greener feed or feed that was chopped 30s, less, less than three months, like six months would be ideal. To let it break down. I think the ink goes in with the pig still. Um, so, if that stuff can sit in storage, it just gets better. The digestibility gets better with time. So, quality is what quality is going in, but the digestibility is the biggest thing. So, this is on now. So, we should probably not touch this because it will hurt. Look at that. A year later, Jono's temporary fix is. Ah, it's touching on it. Uh, if I move this out a little bit, we'll be okay. Alrighty, that's what we'll do. Um, gotta pick up my other steaks. I left some here, right there. Well, otherwise they're gonna they're gonna sort through the weeds and get this cleaned up some. It's tough to mow in there. Um, since spring comes out here, drops down. There's rocks. It's it's got an incline and everything else like that. And then there's the creek for the overflow going back out. So. I'm definitely going to say it's going to rain. Wind's picking up. It's cooled down a ton. Alrighty, do this without getting shocked. Yeah, now we're not touching. Look at that. Thanks, Jono. I think Jono's coming back to the States. If I remember correctly, you booked something. But I think you're going west coast or going Las Vegas. He wanted to hit Las Vegas. I said, that's a little far to road to do a road trip. But awesome dude. No, Jono does not have a YouTube channel. Because people always ask that. Whenever I mention somebody, they ask, well, does he have a YouTube channel? No. Fine. Yeah. Weatherman says it's not gonna rain till like eight tonight, so I don't believe that. That looks like rain. So I'm gonna go ahead. Never string trimmed after I got done last time, so the garden's getting a little crazy. We gotta sort some things, weed some stuff, but might as well. These are still sitting here for somebody, so come pick those up, the person that was supposed to grab them. Um, they wanted them as a spare. So I'm gonna get the 112, which we have not, ooh, we got some grease right there. We have not got the stator fixed. It just hasn't been high on the priority list because the jump pack works all the same but at the moment. I know I should. I was looking for a rag to take that piece of uh, grease off that seat so I don't sit in it later. Um, I know we should get it fixed, but at this moment, we're just we're doing what we can. So I appreciate the gentleman. You know who we are, um, Charles there, and uh, I appreciate Charles helping me get this going and everything else like that. Ignition has been awesome since. So let's put some fuel on it and get the lawn mode. It's like it's 1970. I think they came out in 70. We talked about it previously. And maybe by then the calves will be in and I can pick up that other fence and I can clean that. Monday. It doesn't feel like doesn't feel like we've got much done for Monday. We gotta pick up everything outside the shop. Oh yeah, purrs like a kitten. Can't even tell. Oh. Fill the battery box. Hold up. Yeah, we're good.
road up. Just got a weed whack around the walls. 112 doing its thing. It's not perfect, but it's close. You know. I might go down the fence line. I did mow it. And just clean it up some more. Fine tune it. But calves I think are still out back. So we might jump in here and move some dirt and see what we can get done today. It's not going to rain any longer. Somebody did just post that uh, Buffalo had Buffalo has tornadoes or looks like tornadoes. I just got shot in my head. That is nuts. We've had way too many tornadoes in New York. So I'm sitting here catching up on some things. And I'm like, well, it doesn't seem like it's going to rain any longer. So I'm on the yard. We could have waited. But tomorrow we got an inch of rain coming heavy. Wednesday, we got a half inch of rain. Thursday looks okay. Friday, 0.8. Saturday, over an inch. Sunday, almost two inches. And you can't count being that far out. But uh, it looks like we're going to have some shop time. So I was going to take the dump truck off and work on putting the new PTO on. But I'm going to keep doing the projects I can. I think the calves are swapped or in. And uh, what we really got to do before it gets wet again is pick those piles up and go put them over by the culvert so it's wrapped around. So we'll go jump and do that. Um, 27 still has a rotary mower on it. Bucket's empty. This all needs to get put away. I agree. But uh, yeah, last time we got rained out of doing it. So we'll go down there and see how far we can get. Hopefully we won't get stuck. So Isaiah went ahead last time, and uh, he dug this ditch out, and I'll show you after he gets it done. The ditch is actually pretty wild. I think it's it's got ledge rock or something all the way on the bottom. So it's like, it's all rock line. But I'm pushing them together as I uh, get smaller and smaller on the piles. Granted, we are down in muck conditions. So, we can't be too aggressive, otherwise we will be stuck. We're not in the swamp, it's just wetter. The other day it wasn't wet at all, but we got a little bit of rain, you know. So, then from there, I'm just bringing it, oh, we dropped that rock. Oh, that was a big rock. Um, from there, we're just bringing it all the way back up to the culvert. And I'm setting it around on the bottom. Um, wet soil, it's got some rock in it. Not the best for roadway building, but you'll see the culvert's pretty well good. I just want to clean things up and on either side of it come out more so it's got more, I guess, structure, material around it. But we definitely gained the feet that we need so we do not have an issue in the future. I still gotta grab whatever boards are sticking up um, and I'll just clean that up. But here we go. a ledge rock or flat stone where it drops off so the bottom is the bottom along with a bunch of it through here there's some stone some rock so that excavator did a great job cleaning things up I'm not actually sure how far back he went um, as you see there it goes. So, right here, 
don't want to get stuck, but I'll get over to it. I'll get out. We'll show you guys what's up. We'll take a minute. So if we come over here, oh, there's a rock here. Is that rock gonna stay if I stand on it? Ooh. Nope. This is all rock. All the way down through here is rock. Oh, there goes John. So like, you can see all the rock. This is all rock. So th I guess it would be the river bottom. And then we got some spots and stuff like that, but it is water's flowing right now and it's 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 a lot better than where it was. Cleaned it all up, widened it out. Whenever we got floods or heavy rains, water would be all over everywhere, making other paths path, pathways and stuff like that. And that's less than ideal. So this is sweet. I didn't realize that it was bedrock underneath it and it's all the way up through here so this should help keep this area more drained and better off I'm waiting to step in a like thing of mud or something and go, go all the way down through I got my work boots on today so he wrapped around there we got three more piles and as you see like i said it's got some rocks and material and he did some corners and stuff like that so we should probably it's going to rain the next few days we're probably going to spend the time in the machine digging ditches once we get our shop work done oh there's some three big rocks But that's got bedrock right there too. I don't know if bedrock's the right proper word. So this is where we're at now. And then you can see right here where he stopped digging because he had to go to the other side, but we ran out of daytime. That's where it was. So where that trees are right there, it drops off and goes down some. Um, so we should dig at least to there and have this all cleaned up. He did a good job. Appreciate his help. I didn't realize there's three rocks over here. Alrighty, I'll keep going because I do not believe the weather, man, and it gets darker. Once it starts raining, if you're down here, it's it gets real wet. But we can, if it starts raining, we're gonna pick that fence up, rotary mow around the back. We gotta organize some material. I don't know if the 27 will dump over the dump trailer. I don't think it will. They changed the weather. And that's where we're at. It says a half inch an hour at rate. Alright, I better get some done. It is raining now. It I think it's mostly going north. It's kind of light over there. So I'm gonna keep going. Um my old college housemate, which we've actually seen one of their trucks, um, in Jared's polishing video, the white when we went down and dropped stuff off, the white Peterbilt with the green frame. Um we, we weren't housemates, we lived in the same house, different apartments in it. Um, he just hit me up and said, Hey, you want some millings? They did 3,600 tons today and he's got a thousand tons to go. And I'm like, yeah, but it's, it's 13 miles away. So we might do some thinking and tomorrow we might truck millings so that we can make this project even better. Um, and hopefully the roadway in and stuff like that. So I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, it just made a noise and I know what broke. <laughs> I can't reach to it, but I see the balancer in between, um, or the connector. The rubber connector is no longer attached to nothing. So it's gone in there. I don't know if it's, the rest of it fell out the bottom. So we got no, no steering. We got no hydraulics. <laughs> I guess we are done for today. Oh. Well, at least I got the driveway cleaned up. We're done with this for today. Yeah, it's right there. 
So there's supposed to be a rubber piece in between there to dampen it. And it's not there any longer. So we gotta pull up the parts diagram, but we'll close the windows up and get that ordered. Cause I'm sure United doesn't have it. Always something. Well, they might, I don't think they do. Huh. Quick talk with John. We're gonna, I'm gonna bribe him into doing a video telling us about his past in the farm here. So that you guys have more of the insight on it. And uh, well, we're gonna have to get, hopefully that pump's not locked up. It's weird that it blew apart like that. I'm, I'm very confused on it, but I'm not messing with it now. The sun's back out now, but clearly we're not gonna go rotary mow out back because well, the tractor can't move. So you all wet, you been having fun? He's a good dog. At least we got the lawn mowed before it rained. Rained pretty heavy there for a minute. I'm gonna go see where the calves are. Maybe they went out in the back pasture, maybe they didn't. Have you guys ventured out there or you realize that the gate's open and you don't care? I'm gonna shut this one though, okay? You know there's Plenty of pasture out there now. You guys look good. I'm gonna drop the picture of a year ago. It was yesterday or two days ago compared to where you guys are now. Going right in it. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't think they haven't been out here. There's no hoof print. So I left the gate open and they didn't want to even escape. They must live such a tough life. Norman, that's a weed. That can't be any good. Kids. But yeah, they're probably gonna have like a month of grass out there. So we'll probably take them off at some point because the front will have some of that cleaned up, ready to go. We'll just keep rotating them around. And then if we actually make a dollar or something between manure hauling and grain, we'll buy some more cows just to keep around for the winter. And maintain some property lines and stuff like that. So, all right, what are you doing in there? That is not your bed. Well, alrighty, I was gonna keep going. I'm gonna run, get some errands done that I'm not gonna be able to do tomorrow now if we're gonna haul some millings for ourselves, selves. And uh, yeah, we might look at some corn. We'll probably pull up there and we'll look at some corn. So I guess we're not done yet. Holy smokes, this corn has actually jumped and done something. Um, shorter stuff, but it's tasseling out. If it is short and builds a good ear, I don't even, I love it. I'd rather have short corn that builds a good ear. Um, not like super, super short, but all this stuff was pretty, pretty, uh, depleted on. You want to get out? Okay. Pretty depleted on some nitrogen. It was struggling this spring. Um, So, and you can see some deer damage. It's doing better than last year, um, just based on the ground. Honestly, I had to get past the first few rows and get into this stuff here. So, nothing spectacular, um, but for this ground and for how it's going, it's doing its thing. So you can see some from the nitrogen burn while we were putting it on. Um, Short stuff, if it builds some ears, like I've said previously, this ground over here on this side, um, up front, 125, 130 bushel corn, max. But it's looking, compared to last year, I think we got it figured out a little bit more better over here. Um, this, pretty much everything over the, here is gonna be soybeans next year. So this is a farm we rent. Um, hundred and something acres over here but you can see so right here well in this area I'm very confused on what ate every it's short oh we didn't disc it we just ran the rolling baskets because the equipment was sitting on it this is no-till corn for us that's why it's so short 
That's our issue. What's up, bud? And we don't have a no-till planter. That is why it's so short right here. The equipment was sitting when we were putting fertilizer on. Um, but. <laughs> so, there's the ledge, and it as it goes over, it drops into better soil. But I figured I'd swing up here. That field looks probably 20 times better than last year. So I'm actually very excited. This might be... I was a little nervous on this ground. Um, I think it's going to do good for soybeans next year as long as we get everything right. And I'm sure it's windy as anything. But alrighty, I got to go jump around, do some stuff, see some things. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.